Mason Ryan, welcome to Nexus. <clears throat> Hello. Now, uh, Raw went off the air. You know, and uh, overall, I thought it was an okay show. Um, there's a few things I want to say about it, but let's let's get down to business, shall we? All right. I know my hair is still messed up, so bro. Um, admit. <clears throat> uh. First thing that happened, uh, you know, Miz and Cena, they cut a promo. Uh, Miz talking about how the World Rumble match is going to be 40 men. Uh, which, you know, a lot of us in the YWC already knew this. Thanks to me and a bunch of other people. So, yeah. And then, later on tonight, uh, would be a match announced for Randy Orton and uh, Dolph Ziggler. And, of course, you know, being CM Punk versus John Cena. Except for, here's a stipulation. A Nexus, the Nexus, the new Nexus, CM Punk's Nexus, cannot interfere in the match, or the Nexus is gone from the World Rumble match, meaning that they can't compete in the World Rumble match. Yeah. So yeah, we have that. Then we had a we had a tag team match for the tag team championships. Uh, the Usos versus Santino Morata and Vladimir Kozlov. What is WWE doing with their tag team division? Santino Vladimir Kozlov won after uh, Santino hit the Cobra on Jay Uso. It was a short match. It was. Eh. It was. Put it this way it was a Santino Vladimir Kozlov match. You don't, do you want to go into that? Despite how good of a tag team the Usos are, in my opinion, that was a match. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, we had that. Then we had a, a pretty decent match. We had a pretty good match, uh, believe it or not. Probably the best match of the night. Daniel Bryan versus John Morrison. Uh, both these guys got a lot of time. I'm telling you, John Morrison is getting... It, if it's not obvious by now, it, it has to be obvious by now, that John Morrison uh, is getting the attention from World Wrestling Entertainment. You know, it's, it's simple to see that. That, you know... Morrison's getting a huge push, you guys. And, uh, you know, like I said, this was a very good match. Uh, John Morrison wins by hitting his new finisher, the running knee to the head, uh, and picks up the victory. So, yeah, it was it was a good match. Um, not going to complain. Uh, after the match was over, um, you had uh, King Sh uh, Sheamus come out, or say King Sheamus come out, saying that he's made Morrison... And that he can destroy him and Brian, and that the all three of them are going to be in the World Rumble match. Yeah. So then we had a little quick little backstage segment with the Bellas uh, saying, oh, John Morrison's so hot and stuff, whatever. And uh, they're both apparently trying to be Daniel Bryan's first. I thought this was a PG show. They're his first? Wow. <laughs> So yeah, they made a deal, a, a bet of who's going to be Daniel Bryan's first, either Brie or Nikki. They literally shook on it. So yeah, I guess, you know, it's safe to say now that it's that the Bellas are trying to use Daniel Bryan. And that the Bellas are going to be a heel. Works for me, you know, I find that interesting. I, I actually find them good as a heel in my opinion. But yeah. So then we had the Dolph Ziggler and Randy Orton match. Uh, it was a it was an okay match, you know. It was good, you know. They got it was a kind of a long match, but uh, about eight minutes, eight minutes or so, yeah. But um, yeah, Randy Orton hits the RKO out of nowhere. Uh, covers Ziggler one two three. Your winner, Randy Orton. Then uh, after the match was over, uh, he got he got ambushed by uh, none other than the Miz and uh, Alex Riley, and then Jerry the King Lawler tried to you know. Go right into the Miz, uh, Alex Riley. It was Alex Riley. I think it was Alex Riley. Alex Riley tried to punch uh, Jerry the King Lawler. The King knocked him out. The Miz defended uh, Alex Riley, threw uh, the King out of the barricade. Um, and then both Riley and Miz broke one of the barricades, like on the side, right next to the announce table. And uh, Miz cut like a five second promo on the mic saying, I'm the Miz. I'm awesome. You know? So yeah, we had that. Then we had um, then we had Punk in the back, you know, talking with Nexus. Uh, he he made it seem like 
you know, like you, Jesus, like seriously, I mean, it's like straight society all over again. I mean, just like let's look down, guys. Let's pray. It's interesting, to say the least. Uh, then we had a uh, Maize versus Natalia. I know I'm quiet right now. This is my reaction to this match. This match <laughs> was a squash match. Uh, Natalia gets the sharpshooter on Maris. Maris taps out. You win her, Natalia. Uh, Melina and Eve were both at commentary. I don't know why Melina was there. Melina said like one word. I think it was like, uh, and that was it. Anyway, after the match is over, uh, Maris pr practically owns Ted and Michael Cole after it's over. Eve pushes Maris. Maris just like you know, makes Eve run away. And then Ted comes out and, you know, Maris calls him a loser and, you know, Maris apparently heard Michael Cole bashing her or something like that. And, yeah, and then Ted comes on the mic saying, oh, I could challenge anyone. I could prove I can win the Royal Rumble match. Uh, right now, over the top rope uh, challenge. Out comes Mark Henry, kills him in like five seconds. So then they have this little Royal Rumble thing going here. You got, you know, uh, who was it? You had like R-Truth, you know, Tyson Kidd, Yoshitatsu, Zack Ryder, you know, you had all these mid-carders slash jobbers going in there. Shame is dominated uh, for like the first two minutes and then Mark Henry literally picked him up and literally threw him out, like literally just threw him out. And yeah, God, I hope Mark Henry's not getting a push. Then we had the stupid little segment with uh, Derek Bateman. Daniel Bryan's rookie, for anyone who doesn't know who that is, on NXT, uh, coming out with their with the uh, world's strongest man, uh, Cologne, whatever. I was like, what the hell is this? And it was it was just kind of pointless in my opinion. But yeah, and then we had the whole classic World Rumble package, you know, 40 participants, 24 winners, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and then we had advertised that uh, next week on Raw it's going to be Edge versus The Miz, champion versus champion. Should be interesting. Uh, but last but not least, we had a uh, we had the main event: CM Punk versus John Cena. Now, believe it or not, I liked this match. I actually did. You know, um, it was a long as hell match. You know, it was like ha like close to half an hour, it was like 15 minutes. But you know, it was a good match. I actually, I actually liked this match. Believe it or not, um, you know. At one point, you know, Cena hits the STF on Punk. It looks like Punk's about to tap out. I was like, oh, God, really? This is what WWE's doing to Punk. Punk got the ropes. Um, and then afterwards, you know, you know, the match kept on going on. And then, you know, it looked like Cena was about to, you know, like, I think he was about to hit the attitude adjustment. Then comes out Mason uh, Ryan. Then comes Ma Mason Ryan. He comes out. Uh, looking, and I know a lot of people thought this was, uh, you know, Tisa. You know, Mason Ryan comes out, freaking nails CM Punk with the clothesline. And then, I'm like, what the hell? And then, you know, John Cena, uh, you know, looks at Mason Ryan. Mason Ryan hits this, uh, I don't know what he hit him with. You know, it says here, modified rock bottom. I guess, you know, it was kind of like that. So, like a sit-down rock bottom, like a woof. But, um, yeah, and then the Nexus came out to try to protect Punk. Punk told him to lay off. Uh, Punk took out the Nexus armband. Uh, uh, Mason Ryan goes on his knees, and then he puts the arm, the Nexus armband on Mason Ryan to show that Mason Ryan is the newest member of Nexus. Probably, you know, a guy to even out for, you know, Ezekiel Jackson, who's on SmackDown, who's Wade Barrett's version of the Nexus. So, yeah, that was with Raw. You know, overall, I thought it was an okay show. Um, there's a few things I didn't like, but then again, you know, Raw always has its flaws, you know, usually. Um, so, yeah, that was it, really. Um, I got no much to say. You know, World Rumble's in two weeks, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty obvious that the re one of the reasons why they even made it a 40-man World Rumble is because, you know, with so many Nexus members, you know, Raw's Nexus and SmackDown's Nexus. So, yeah, see you guys later.